Maine is bidding farewell to the man who turned a small family business into what is arguably the state's most famous brand today. Leon Gorman wrote that his proudest accomplishment was growing L.L. Bean from a company that employed fewer than 100 people into one that employs tens of thousands of hardworking Mainers. Gorman died earlier this month at the age of 80. His family, friends, and colleagues attended a memorial service this morning at the Westbrook Performing Arts Center. Gorman was also known for his philanthropy. Every Wednesday morning for 12 years, he helped serve breakfast at a homeless shelter. All of us who are privileged to know him feel that we have lost a friend who really made a difference not only to our lives, but to the lives of literally everyone in Maine. During Gorman's memorial service, L.L. Bean's Freeport stores shut their doors. This was only the third time in the company's history that its flagship store was closed. Managers stood outside to tell shoppers why the store was not open. A picture of Gorman was posted on the doors. I think it's important. I think it's a sign of respect and certainly uh, the dedication that he placed towards the community and the facility in and of itself, yeah. So when they slipped the ropes over the, uh, over the canoe paddles, it was, it was kind of a somber occasion, just like a funeral itself. He'd come in the store and bag right beside people during the holidays. He uh, salt of the earth type guy. Um, so I think a lot of people are pretty sad today. The stores reopened at noon. The other two times L.L. Bean closed was when President Kennedy was assassinated in 1963 and when L.L. Bean himself passed away in 1967.